In this video, I'm going to show you what webcams you should be using for what you're doing. Now, for 90% of your everyday use, there's only one kind of webcam you need. It does 1080p at 30 frames per second. If it does 60, so much the better, you'll use 30. And find one that does HDR. That's it. My recommendations on actual webcams you should buy are in the notes for this video. But there's something else you need to know before you go blasting off. Not everyone's computer can run an external webcam. Let's find out if yours is one. But more importantly, let's find out what a little upgrade can deliver. The possibilities may surprise you. So, first, I'd like to explain what your computer needs to run an external webcam properly, then show you some side-by-side -side comparisons so you can see what's what. Welcome to the Visible Authority, where even a webcam can give you a transcendent experience. Imagine what that will do for your audience. You may already be using one of these to run a mastermind, sell up a storm in webinars, or give interviews to CNN, but you're here to see if you can do it better. The answer is yes, you can. First though, let's see if your computer can even support a better webcam than the one that comes built in. Many can't. In a moment, I'll explain why these specs are so important, but for now, here's the 411. You need a graphics card with at least a gigabyte of RAM, the next most recent Intel or AMD processor, and a USB 3 port. Now let's look at features. There are really only three that are important, the resolution and the frame rate and HDR. Resolution is the size of the frame and frame rate is how many of them run by in a second. As I said a moment ago, full HD or 1080p is the resolution you want and 30 frames per second is your frame rate. There is literally nothing else of importance. In fact, some features can be counterproductive and I will prove it to you with some demonstrations. But what about audio? Isn't that important? You bet! And in a webcam, it's even more important than in a regular video camera. The problem is, they don't make webcams with good audio. They just don't. But ironically, audio for webcams, unlike audio for $100,000 cinema cameras, is always advertised as true to life or crystal clear. Hey, I know. Let's do a test. We're going to use the best cam, the best webcam I could find for the money. So we're on the webcam now, and um, well, this is the sound from a nice microphone. This is the, the Blue Yeti microphone. And here's the sound from a very, very inexpensive lapel mic, a lavalier mic. And finally, we have audio from the webcam itself. Now, this sound is what the, uh, is what the webcam manufacturer advertises as pristine studio quality sound. So, um, well, I'll let you be the judge of that. I liked that demonstration. Let's do another one. Background replacement. A lot of manufacturers talk about that one. They're really talking about doing green screen, where you cut out everything behind you and replace it with something you'd prefer. Webcams have a hard time doing that. Um, they can do it, obviously. They, they advertise it. The question is, would you want to share it with an audience? I've been doing background replacement with regular video cameras for years now with, with, with backgrounds like this and this and this. But with webcam? Well, here, let me just show you. Of course, you can do it, but I don't know. I think my hair is on fire. Not sure you want to present that to an audience. This is fun. Let's look at another feature. Some of them say that no matter what lighting conditions you create, the webcam will make everything look beautiful instantly and effortlessly right out of the box. It's so amazing that they would say that. That's like saying, our college will take your failing grades and with our exclusive right grade technology, instantly turn you into a genius who gets nothing but straight A's. Come to think of it, I think I could have used that. But no, no, all webcams are are pretty so-so at seeing light. And if the webcams that you can upgrade to are so-so, <laughs> the ones that are built in, like this, 
webcam that's built into my iMac are really even worse at it. Let's look at one that's worth it. Some webcams have HDR. HDR stands for high dynamic range. It makes colors more vivid and, and gives your picture better contrast. So it's more like the human eye sees things. This one is real. It's one of the simpler things you can do to make webcam footage look a little more like footage from an expensive video camera. So this is a camera with HDR and I'm in an online meeting room called Zoom. And um, you can add some apps uh, to your to your uh, camera so that you can change the settings on the fly. Like right now I'm making it brighter, I can make it darker, um, I can change you know, lots of things about the picture and I'll show you some apps as we go along. This is HDR and I think that HDR, you know, gives you kind of an airbrushed look, you know, kind of like a, kind of like a Hollywood starlet in the 1940s. Well, you can decide if that's something that's good or bad for you when you start making your videos. The last feature we'll look at is 4K. We don't actually have to see this one because it's kind of like cold fusion or warp drive. It, it, it kind of only exists on paper. Now, the specs might say 4K, but there are so many reasons you just can't get it. Your internet provider might only allow 5 megabits per second down the pipe, but 4K requires 25 megabits per second. I have a pretty fast connection myself. Let's see what kind of megapixels per second you can get in the real world. Shoot. Well, so much for my dream of remaking The Matrix live with my webcam. But if you do have the bandwidth, check to see if you have a USB 3 port on your computer. USB 2 doesn't push a fraction of the pixels you need for 4K. In fact, if you only have USB 2, you may be better off shooting 720p. But it's not a very good long-term answer. It's better to have USB 3 and 1080p because USB 3 theoretically will allow 4K, so there will be no problem in selecting 1080p, even if your webcam can do 4K. Finally, your computer also needs a pretty hefty graphics card to drive 4K, or even 1080. Uh, some, well, most laptops just don't have the horsepower. So if you don't have the latest and greatest chip, drivers, graphics card, or ports, stay away from 4K. Now, the main reason I'm going on and on about specs and features is because of what happens to the footage once you lay it down in your editing program. If the computer doesn't have enough horsepower, then the footage can fall out of sync, which is where the sound no longer keeps up with the mouth that's making the sound. But there are those three specs because they are super important to your being successful with any webcam. And now, maybe you can see why they're so important. Because aside from great lighting and audio, they're all you have to work with. That and you being good on camera. The first of course, is frames per second. It's important because in your editing program, if frames per second are not consistent, the video will be out of sync. Part of that is because the internet signal itself can be inconsistent due to bandwidth restrictions. Maybe it starts recording at 60 frames per second, then boom, somebody next door starts binge watching Game of Thrones and your video slows down to 30, then 29.97, then 23.97, that means that in your editing program, you'll be constantly fiddling with the audio separately from the video, trying to, you know, line it up so the person talking looks like they're saying the words at the same time you're hearing them. So, how do you know beforehand that your webcam will be able to shoot in a consistent frame rate that your editing program can interpret accurately? You guessed it. Bandwidth, processor, USB port, and graphics card. Remember, the minimum acceptable resolution is 1080p, but that is also the maximum that 90% of human beings can work with. What that really means is that once you get into editing, you will be faced with a nightmare of changing frame rates. I don't want that to happen to you. So, if you ignore my advice and buy a 4K webcam, just don't shoot in 4K. Choose 1080p, and you'll be so much happier when you get to editing. I guess... I guess in the end, webcam all by itself is like wine in a box. 
It gets the job done, but it's not going to win you any awards, and you may regret it in the morning. But that also makes it much easier to get started with video and makes it look and sound really good with just a few refinements. For now, just go with 1080p, 30 frames per second, and HDR. The rest is marketing noise. And speaking of noise, here's a secret about producing video. If you have great audio, you only need good video. It's much easier to get great audio than to get great video, and nowhere is this more of a game changer than with webcam. And the best part? You don't have to break open the piggy bank to get amazing results. Just use any of the mics that I demonstrated in this video. The links to those mics are listed in the show notes. That's it for me for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Visible Authority. Thank you.